Let's install the HSEC license in your Cisco routers. We're gonna do this two ways. The first way is if your box has connection to the cloud, has a connection to CSSM, that's where your smart account lives. And the second way we're gonna do it is if you have zero connectivity, this box is completely air gapped. And we're gonna do that via the SLAC method, Slack or smart license activation code method. So guys, if you're new to my channel, go ahead, hit subscribe. If you like today's video, give it a like. First, let's make sure we actually have our HSEC licenses. Let's go to software at cisco.com, smart software manager, manage licenses. Click on inventory, go to licenses, click on the virtual account where those licenses are. And right here, you can see that in my virtual account, I have my HSEC licenses. They're called Router US Export Licenses. If I click the plus sign there, we can actually see that these are the HSEC licenses for the Catalyst 8000V. That's the virtual router. And we can take a look at our balance here. So I have 19 available. I have two in use. And that means I have 17 free. So right now I can license up to 17 additional boxes. And on our first box here, this one will have connectivity to CSSM. So that's our smart account. And the first thing I'm gonna show is just that we do not have an authorization code installed on this box currently, no HSEC license. So show license authorization. And you can take a look here, it says not installed. Next, we're gonna go and configure this thing to talk to our smart licensing account. So fig terminal. We're gonna go ahead and say license smart, transport smart. So we're gonna turn the transport mechanism into smart licensing there. Next, we're going to make sure that the URL is set. So we want the default URL talking directly to the cloud. Then we're actually gonna exit out of configuration mode. And we need to get our token. So we need to go back to our smart account in order to get our token for this. Back in our smart account, go ahead and click on that general tab. Click new token, proceed and max number of uses. I only have one box, so I am just going to put in here one, and this token will be good for 30 days. Then the token is generated, and I can go ahead and I can click copy on this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and issue the License Smart Trust ID token, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paste in that token right here. And then I'm gonna do an all force. Now we should start to communicate directly with the cloud. Let's go verify that. And the first thing you'll notice is if you go back to software.cisco.com where we generated that token here, we can see that the token is actually, has actually been used here. It says one of one, so we actually used it. And back on the box, let's run a show license status command there. And we can take a look at a couple things here. We can see that this did in fact reach out. It knows about my smart account right there. It knows that it's in the cell routers virtual account and it gives us the date and the time that it reached out. If you scroll down, you can take a look at the policy. The next time it's going to check in, um, all the information is right there. Let's do a show license authorization again. And we can see that the HSEC license is still not installed, but we are making a connection now to our smart account. So let's go and activate the HSEC license. To do this, it's pretty simple. Let's get back into configuration mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to issue the platform hardware throughput level megabytes and let me show you guys something here so for HSEC to get kicked off the router needs to be configured in a mode that's using more than 250 megabits per second so if you go to 15 or 25 or 50 it's not going to happen the device is not going to request the HSEC license so what you want to do is set it for something greater than 250 meg in our case we'll go to a gig so we'll type in 1000 and we'll hit enter. And I just wanna point out, if you get this error here, that means you don't have your licensing enabled on your box yet. So let's go ahead and enable that licensing. To enable licensing, you're gonna do license, boot, level, and then this is where you're gonna to wanna to set it to network advantage or network essentials, depending on what you need. And then if in fact this is a virtual box, you 100% need to add a DNA license. If it's not a virtual box, you can get away with just setting the network advantage or network essentials. In our case, we're gonna do the add-on and then DNA advantage, okay? Now, these are gonna be set the next time we, re we reboot the box. Let's do a quick do right, and we need to reload our box. And our box is back up now, so let's do a show version. 
and we can see here that the box is on network advantage now we are using the dna advantage as well and if i go to try to configure that again the throughput let's go back to config mode and we're going to do platform hardware throughput level megabytes and then again same deal here so let's go ahead and select 1000 enter okay now we can take a look here it is going out to the smart account it's going to request the hsec license and what's once it is installed then we're going to be all set and we're going to be able to go above 250 and it's been about a minute it really doesn't take too long and we can take a look if i refresh here we can see that now i have three hsec licenses in use before it showed two we can get a little more detail if i click in on it here under product instances we can actually take a look. There's a host name of my router. It came in here and it grabbed that authorization. Let's switch over to the box and take a look at that side. And on the box, we're gonna go ahead and run that same command again. We're gonna say again, 1000. And we could take a look here. Throughput has been set to 2000 megabits per second. Now, the interesting part is um, when you set it to 1000, that's actually sort of the half duplex number. And then for some reason, they decide to show you the full duplex number. So it's 2000 megabits per second. Uh, up and down is what you're going to get or 1000 megabits per second, uh, one direction. So that looks good. It actually has been set. We can exit out of this. And if I do another show license authorization, we can actually take a look here. And now this is no longer blank and it's showing me that we are authorized to use the HSAC feature. Now let's talk about a router that is totally air gapped and has no internet connectivity whatsoever. And we're in my second box right here and do this. We're going to go over to software.cisco.com again, inside your virtual account. This time we're going to go to product instances and we have to generate an authorization code, download it, and then we're gonna upload it and install it into our router. So pretty simple process. Click on the authorize license enforced features here. Then it's gonna have us fill out some basic information. So we can use the show license UDI command to get this information. And if I run that command, we can take a look at the product ID and the serial number. Those are really the only two things that I need to enter in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the product ID and then enter in the serial number. Go ahead and click next. We're gonna reserve one license here. So just change the zero to a one. Click off of it. Go ahead, click next. Then it's gonna ask you to select a device type here, DNA on-prem. Go ahead, click continue. And then we're gonna generate our authorization code. Here's our authorization code. Now what we wanna do is download this as a file. And now that I have that file downloaded and it's on my FTP server right here, we're gonna go onto the router and we're gonna pull down this file and then install it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and download the file to this box here. The first thing we need to do is we do need to issue a license smart authorization request. So we need to request the, the file internally here so the box knows that it wants to turn on this feature. I'm gonna say local because this is not in an HA pair. Once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in here copy TFTP, my TFTP server, the name of the file, and then where do I wanna copy the file to? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in boot flash. Then it's going to ask the destination file in the boot flash. We're going to leave it the same. We're not going to mess with it. Go ahead, hit enter. It's going to go ahead and pull the file from my TFTP server. And now all we have to do is go ahead and install it. And to install, we're going to do license smart import. And then we're basically going to tell it where that file is. And we're going to import it from our boot flash. Boot flash. And then we're going to put the file name in right after it and hit enter. Now it went ahead and installed it. You can take a look here, confirmation codes. Those are all very good signs. And then if we run our show authorization again, show license authorization. Now we can take a look here. This is no longer blank and it's actually showing that we are utilizing that HSEC license and that, has, that HSEC license has been installed. One thing I didn't show, as soon as you do this, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna decrease your licenses for your HSAC. You can see now I have four reserved, balance is 15. So guys, that's it. 
It's as simple as that. You can either do it two methods, one where it has some kind of connectivity, either directly out or maybe through a CSLU server or maybe through DNA Center or an SSM server, one of those satellite servers. And then the other way is if this box is totally air-gapped, no connection to anything, and you still need an HSEC license on it, how do you do it? If you guys have questions, please post below. And as always, appreciate you guys watching.